Hello and welcome back. Now keeping in with the current theme that I've got going on which is Dauntless, we are looking at the new update coming up called Frostfall. This is expected to hit on the 19th. Being that they're American you've got a few hours to go generally. But what this update offers in general is a variety of things to be perfectly honest. We have of course new quests coming but not too sure about whether new quest would be a good thing but let's just start from the top of what their news category actually adds so we've got new hunts and modifiers including fearsome behemoth encounters and the hunt modifiers from what i can gather is there's like a cold thing going on what this cold will do to you as your character haven't got a clue there are three new consumables as well, one of which is a campfire to help you keep warm, which is another reason why I think there's a cold thing going on. We have new flares, as well as more customizable bits and bobs for your banner, such as fabrics and sigils. Got some more emotes coming. There is also new titles, some cosmetics, you can keep yourself warm apparently with facial hair, eyebrows, face paint and this is I like the idea of this, this last one, I like the idea but there's a slight problem with it and I'm gonna read this word for word lastly slayers will be able to give the gift of Dauntless by purchasing founder packs for others Visit the Dauntless website to purchase a code to give to a friend. Slayers that hunt together, survive together. That's all well and good. I quite like the idea of being able to purchase it for other people, considering if you go to their website, their forums, their Facebook page, there is a plethora of people wanting to play the game that haven't got a code due to a variety of reasons such as affordability. So they're going to dump that burden on other people that can afford it. If they are going to do these giveaway code things, they better come at a subsidised price. Otherwise, pff, yeah, we're not friends anymore. I don't have friends. I'm not purchasing your bloody code. Leave me alone. Now, one of the things that this update actually brags is revitalising a lot of in-game mechanics as well as giving us a ton, quotes, a ton more content but a lot of it seems to be cosmetic based they're not fixing hitboxes as they should be they're not fixing scaling as they should be they're not introducing that range weapon which they have confirmed which a lot of people are wanting now there is a lot of sourness going on around Dauntless at the moment do I agree with all of it hell no are there some actual legitimate complaints? Of course there are. It's a game that is in beta. There are definitely, definitely problems. So is an is a winter event really the answer? I'm not too sure about that. Now I'm actually going to probably shoot myself in the foot here, but obviously they've released their own news package with on their own website. But as of late, IGN has got involved, and obviously IGN is a massive company when it comes to these sorts of things, reviews, news, updates, little perks, you know, just, it's, it's IGN, we, we, we love IGN. But even they have said and quoted the words, a ton of new content, and they've basically just from that point just gone to say, there's a few new quests and hunts with specific rewards and character customizations, and then that was it. So there's a ton of new content and then highlighted three areas. Not that there's overall more new and more Bayamoss coming in, there's not m new and different maps, a new tier for us to go to, a higher level to scale to. I mean, I want to go to T5 at the moment. There's problems with Rezakiri and Shroud, with the so-called bugged quest where you have to hunt in the main draft in a scrave where you, and you can't hand it in you know there, there are like genuine problems in the game at the moment these they might be getting fixed i don't know it's not been highlighted that they're getting fixed but they, they might be but it, they've not said personally i would say you know one of the first things is oh we're doing a winter event 
the first thing we're doing with this winter event is we're fixing a lot of problems. Not we're going to add in a load of shiny shiny to hopefully make you forget about the problems. But that's just me. I'm not sure if anyone else really agrees with that. Personally, I think you would want to fix what you have before you start adding new things which could add to the problems overall. Now, as the IGN trailer for the Frostfall update continues, it highlights mainly that there are new hunts with modifiers. And it puts a lot of detail on this. It doesn't tell you what tier they will be, whether they will be the Sheltered Frontier, the Monstrous Verge, the Yonder Keys, or be what we don't know. However, it does show that one of the monsters that they are fighting within this update video is Panga. Now, there are a lot of people coming back to Dauntless since 0.3.1. Well, just to sharpen your skills update in general, really. And the majority of the player base that I have seen are barely in Tier 1 and Tier 2. There's a few struggling to make their way into Tier 3, but at the moment, as you can see, oh, this is a tier, tier 4 match here. And there's only one other person, because that's the average group I can find to do a tier 4 game. Just me and sometimes one other. So I can't really see an update that is centred around doing tier 4 being useful, because Pangar is a tier 4 monster. Unless, of course, they're going to drop him down to like tier 2 or tier 3 and do Pangor and still have him drop tier 4 drops. Uh, that I suppose you could say that's kind of useful. Maybe a little bit of a crystal present here. Have a easy access Pangar armor. That could be pretty good. I can get behind that. I wouldn't mind a bit of Pangar armor. At the moment, I'm using Nezaga armor, and Pangar kind of hurts against Nezaga armor. So, an easy access Pangar. Yeah, I can get behind that. I, I doubt it. Uh, T2 Pangar, okay, yeah, I'd love that, that'd be amazing. So, again, though, just is, is this update warranted? From that point within the IGN trailer, it then goes on to just, it's pure cosmetic. There's a new quest, a new hunt, with new modifiers, and then the rest of it is com cosmetic. But it's a ton of new content. Sorry, that's not a ton of new content. That's fluff. This is a Monster Hunter genre game. The idea of the game doesn't really matter about how pretty you look. It matters about how quickly you can kill a monster without getting your head kicked in. Now, don't get me wrong, I am excited for the new update. I do like a good bit of the old challenge. And I'm interested to see about this whole Pangar thing. If that, that's... If, it even is Panga. It might not be. I'm not too sure. So I am interested to see what happens. I'm hoping it does come with a few bug fixes as well, particularly with the Beasts of the Blue quest that is currently uh, haunting a few people because we can't turn that quest in. So I'm hoping it comes with a few fixes and I'm hoping it's just after that. It's sorry, sorry about the problems. Here's a few fixes. Have a bit of fluff. That would be okay, but the fixes haven't been noted. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. Um, I am excited for it. I'm just not too sure fluff patches are a good way to go at the moment. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you pretty darn soon. Ta-ra!